I strongly believe the Norfolk Broads are so important to Norfolk. Um, the Broads are unique, they're world famous for holidays, people have been coming here for holidays since the Victorian times. We've got some amazing coastline, but you can get coasts all around the country, but the Broads you can only find in Norfolk. There's also many churches and buildings that have been preserved, so lots and lots of things that are just very, very special about the Broads. You can start off with a day boat and, and you will learn the basics with those. The guys will show you how to drive them, how to moor up. But if you've really enjoyed that and fancy going out for a little bit longer, then you can perhaps take one of our cruisers. So they go out for short breaks, long weekends, or a whole week or a couple of weeks. I like being busy because there's always something to do and steering the boat is really fun and controlling the sails. And I just like sailing. So if you're out on a day trip just visiting the Broads, you can explore by foot, have a look at some of the nature trails, there's some really good ones that show you parts of some of the Broads here. If you've come by train and you've come on your bike, then you've got plenty of places to explore. There's some lovely little country lanes that'll take you up to the edge of the river. There's even quite a few trails and routes that have been put together by some of the Cycle Hire Association members, so a little guide to some of the best places to go and have a look at. You can get up to Norwich, explore some of the shops, the castle, the museums, really nice places to stop in Norwich. Now, on the way to Norwich, you'd go via Great Yarmouth and Braden Water, the large estuary. So it's worth stopping in there. In Great Yarmouth, you can go to some of the funfair rides, get some donuts, fish and chips on the beach, that kind of thing. And of course, have a stroll along the sandy beaches there. There are lots of different activities to do on the broad, such as stand-up paddle boarding, kayaking, canoeing, uh, wakeboarding, and anything else that you like to do on the water, really. The great joy of Norfolk is outdoor activities. There's almost nowhere you can't do something unusual, different and exciting. And then of course there's the broads. Just go on the boats. I mean, what else could you ask for? If you've never been on the broads before, never done a boating holiday, the broads is really the best place to start because it's quite easy. There's no locks to worry about. It's mostly gentle, slow flowing waterways. You can just moor up somewhere, people will help you out. So it's about 125 miles of navigable waterways. It's a fantastic place for a holiday, it really is. I often say to people, the beauty of being on the Broads is just being. It is just being with your family, being with your friends, enjoying the atmosphere, just, just having a great time. <laughs>